Imagine waking up in the middle of the night to a sound that should not be there. A deep, raspy roar echoing from your backyard. You look out the window and see a feline shadow weighing more than 100 kilograms walking silently. This is no longer science fiction. It is the new reality for thousands of Brazilians who live near the remaining patches of the Atlantic forest and the outskirts of major urban centers. Security cameras have captured scenes that look like something straight out of a National Geographic documentary. Jaguars and cougars crossing streets, exploring residential backyards, and even resting in vacant urban lots. But what is behind this phenomenon? Why are these predators trading the jungle for concrete? The jaguar is not just another big cat. It is an evolutionarily perfected hunting machine, developed over millions of years. With a bite force that can reach up to 1,500 pounds per square inch of pressure, enough to crush a turtle's shell or a crocodile's skull, it has the most powerful bite of any feline in the world. Scientifically speaking, the jaguar is distinguished from other big cats by unique characteristics. Its rosettes have central spots, unlike the leopard, its body structure is more robust and compact, and its swimming ability is exceptional. An adult male can weigh between 100 and 158 kilograms. It is currently estimated that there are between 17,000 and 60,000 jaguars in South America, with Brazil holding the largest population of the species in the world. However, this represents a dramatic reduction, as in the last three decades, we have lost approximately 30% of the total population due to habitat destruction. What we are witnessing is not an invasion in the traditional sense, but rather a behavioral response to profound environmental changes. Recent studies using camera traps in urban forest fragments have revealed a reduction of up to 60% in the density of natural prey, such as white-lipped peccaries, deer, and capybaras. This forces jaguars to expand their hunting territories into areas that were once considered unsuitable. At the same time, the abundance of domestic and livestock animals in peri-urban areas creates a more energy-efficient food source. A jaguar spends significantly less energy hunting a domestic dog than pursuing a wild peccary through dense forest. Researchers from Sao Paulo State University using GPS collars on urban jaguars have discovered fascinating changes in the circadian patterns of these animals. Traditionally crepuscular, meaning more active at dawn and dusk, urban jaguars have developed new activity schedules, avoiding periods of high human movement. Data collected over 18 months show that these jaguars concentrate 70% of their activities between 10 o'clock at night and 5 o'clock in the morning, an adaptive behavior that minimizes encounters with humans. The animals learn to identify times of lower human movement, develop specific routes that reduce exposure, and even show increasing tolerance to typical urban noise. Sociological research conducted in neighborhoods with frequent sightings reveals an interesting psychological phenomenon. While some residents report anxiety, others express pride in living close to these ambassadors of Brazilian nature. This duality reflects our complex cultural relationship with wildlife. The jaguar, both a national symbol and a totemic animal in many indigenous cultures, evokes fear and reverence at the same time. Affected communities have developed informal coexistence protocols, which include bringing domestic animals indoors during nighttime, installing additional exterior lighting, creating WhatsApp groups for sighting alerts, and changing walking and exercise routines. Brazil is not alone in this experience. 
Global data show similar patterns in Mumbai, India, with leopards in residential areas, Los Angeles, United States, with cougars crossing highways, Santiago, Chile, with pumas in peripheral neighborhoods, and Bangkok, Thailand, with tigers in urban canals. Researchers predict that by the year 2050, such encounters will become routine in megadiverse countries. The phenomenon of urban jaguars is forcing a conceptual revolution in conservation biology. The traditional model of isolated protected areas is being replaced by approaches that focus on functional landscapes, recognizing the SETI as part of the ecosystem. The presence of jaguars in Brazilian cities goes beyond zoology. It is a mirror reflecting our civilizational choices. Each paw print left on urban asphalt tells a story about sustainable development, land use planning, and our ability to coexist with other species. The nocturnal roar that echoes between houses is not just the sound of a predator. It is nature's voice asking for space in an increasingly human-dominated world. The question is not how to drive these jaguars out of the cities, but how to redesign cities to include these jaguars. If this content has sparked your scientific curiosity, consider supporting Atlantic Forest Conservation NGOs. Remember that we are all co-inhabitants of this planet. Science shows us that biodiversity preservation is not only an ethical matter, but also an evolutionary necessity. Every jaguar we protect today carries in its genes millions of years of adaptations that may be crucial for understanding our own future in a changing world. At the same time, jaguars remind us that wildlife is not something distant and isolated within reserves. It is alive, adapting and responding to our actions. This closeness can be a rare opportunity to create greener, more resilient and more balanced cities. Technology, which has so often contributed to habitat degradation, can also become an ally. Satellite monitoring, artificial intelligence to predict routes and activity periods, and community alert systems can save lives, both human and feline. In the end, perhaps the greatest lesson is to understand that conservation is not just about protecting what remains, but redesigning what we have so that humans and predators can coexist in harmony. And if we achieve that, we will not only be saving a species, we will be preserving an essential part of ourselves. Nature knows no borders, and it is long past time for us to rethink our own.